we're going to show you something cool. If you want to cook your turkey and you want to smoke it with pellets, you got to watch this video. What do you think? Save your, save your oven for everything else. This is going to save you a lot of stress inside the kitchen. Fill this up. Take the bag. This is Traeger. If you don't know Traeger, this is, this is what you want. I want to set it right now. 225. 225. I'm going to push the super smoke button here. Oh. Okay, we have a sweet wood blend for the pellets. We also have a, is it maple? And we're using the apple. Oh yeah. So this has got Wi-Fi. This isn't your regular smoker. I've got a, a probe that I stick in the meat. Mm -hmm. I can monitor the temperature of the meat while it's cooking from inside the house. I never have to come out here. I don't have to get cold. I don't have to open it to check on it, so it's very efficient. When that probe tells me that the temp is where it needs to be, then I can come out and I'll take it out and I'm done. So you can watch the game I can watch, watch your Wi-Fi. Yep, it does everything. And it'll adjust the temperature that needs to be based on where that probe is. So, or if it's hotter, it'll do less pellets, sorry. Wow. And then if it's colder, it'll add more pellets. So wow. it's, it keeps the temp right where it needs to be. <laughs> smoker is probably more expensive than your normal smoker or what most people are going to buy, but I... Thirteen hundred dollars. I bought this. Oh, insulated walls on the left and the right side. So insulated walls. Here it goes. I hear it. It's, it's starting to light now. So, do you know the difference between pellets and chips? Because a lot of people use wood chips, Adam. Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I believe that the the pellets are more efficient and they burn hotter. Hotter. Okay. So you don't go through as many as you would if you had chips. Well, yeah, chips would I would think would burn a lot because like a pellet stove would have the pellets is more efficient. I would think the pellets are compressed wood where a chip is just chips. Chips. So. Yeah. This is the Traeger app. It's telling me the temperature that it's at right now at 2:22. I'm not by the grill or the smoker. I'm inside. I'm monitoring to see where I'm at. When it gets to 300, then I can take my turkey and I can bring it out there. I don't have to be out in the cold at all. Do you put wine in there at all? Any kind of wine? No wine. This is all from cranberries. So it's fresh, wow. cran fresh cranberries. Wow. Got a little smell to it there. <laughs> a little bit. So. Got to rinse it right out. Get that brine off it. Yep. Get the brine off. It's been in this uh, liquid, which is... Let's pick it right up. See, right in the camera. And it's in a brine bag, so... So brine, what explain the brine? The brine is a mixture of water, apple juice... Uh, I got some cranberry in there. Okay. Uh, some salt. The salt's the big, the big ingredient that you need. You can, you can do a brine that's as simple as water and salt if you want to. And you put it in a bag, just a regular bag. Oh, that's a special bag. It's a brine bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a special brine bag. Okay. So it, it's the reason for this, and, and the reason you want to do this when you're smoking turkeys, is it, it locks the moisture in the meat, and it keeps it tender. Smoking without this can, can cause. A, a dry turkey. How long you put that in there for? So I did this last night. Uh, finished at like one in the morning. It's three in the afternoon now. So by rule, they say for every pound of turkey, you want an hour of brine time. You just rub, rub I guess. Just rub it on the skin. Just rub it on. I got it inside. <laughs> oh, you put it inside the skin too? Underneath the skin. Yep. Oh in, wow. Outside. So. Dry herbs, basically like some rosemary, thyme, a lot of what the brine had in it. Some fennel seed. Butter, garlic, it's basic. There's nothing, it, but it adds a little bit more flavor into from the brine that I just took off. So the brine is going to help tenderize the meat, and this is going to help add flavor. It's time, time to go out. Heart went down a degree. Oh, did it go? Who's opening my grill? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, will it fit? Yeah, it's a yeah, it'll, fit. it'll go down. Whoa! That's how you cook a turkey. There you go, guys. That's how it's done. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. We try a little piece. It's great. And if you like this video, like and share it. It'll help us out big time. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.